Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing LTI Mindtree's technical interview experience that happened today only, that is on 8th August 2024. So guys, make sure that you are watching this video till the end so that you can get to know the different different types of questions that are getting asked in the interview. Okay, so as previously also on this channel, you can see for your preparation, I am posting regularly posting LTI Mindtree's interview experience. Till now 7 to 8 interview experience I have already posted on this channel and this is the 5th video for it ok. So make sure that you are subscribing this channel and liking the video because lot of interview experiences I will be keep on posting. I know many of your interviews ha have been rescheduled and you will be getting the new mails very soon. So make sure that you are hitting that subscribe button and guys do join this telegram group because lot of queries regarding tech, uh, regarding tech Mahindra Mindtree are getting resolved here only. For every query, I cannot make the video. So, lot of interview experiences, lot of query discussion, lot of discussions regarding mind tree are happening in this particular group. I will give you the link of this Telegram group in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. Make sure that you join it. Okay. So, guys, now let's start this video. And before starting the video, please hit that like and subscribe button because it gives immense motivation for us to make more such videos. Okay. So, guys, till now I was posting videos regarding Java interview questions and different different also I have covered but in this mostly python related interview this happened okay only one interview experience I will be uh, explaining you in this particular video okay this video might be short okay so python related questions will be more here so first of all there is a self introduction okay I have told you in self introduction you can include your education background your skills your extracurricular activities your projects your internship all these things you can include here okay moving ahead is the projects so two projects were there in the resume of this candidate and both of the uh, projects were asked in the interview so i have told this also that see the resume is the bible for the interviewer everything that you have mentioned in the uh, resume you should know so even if you have mentioned five projects in your resume then you should know you should know all the five projects see here the two projects were there in the resume related to ml and dl and the project discussion happened in depth so it is quite easier for the interviewer as well as well as for you guys also that the uh, that the most of the interview questions are related to your project only because you have done the project you will be able to answer them okay so i hope this question is clear to you make sure that you are preparing your project very well how to explain your project in the interview i will give the link in the i button or in the description box okay next is write the code for reverse of a string so many of you were asking me sir whether we have to share the screen or we have to write it on a piece of paper so since these interviews are happening online so you can you will have to share the screen and write the code or you can write in the chat section also of the meeting the same interviewer will tell you what to do so so this is the code for reversing of the string okay i hope this is clear to you so guys before moving ahead do hit that like and subscribe button if you have not done it till now because a lot of efforts are going for making these videos Next is explain list comprehension. So guys again list comprehension means that you have to play around with the list making a new list out of an old list without using for loop okay with minimal line of coding okay. So this is what a list comprehension is is that modifying a particular list into the new list okay in a single line or a in a single uh, scope only okay. I hope this question is clear to you. Next is explain lambda functions. So what are lambda functions? So again lambda functions are a, a single line function only which do the uh, do the task without declaring them. So here you can see that we are using the lambda keyword. Okay so lambda string what it is doing it is doing string dot upper. So if we are calling this upper function and we are passing string in it so it will be printing the upper up. So I have copied this example from geeks for geeks. So once this string will be passed in the upper function upper lambda function so this will be converted into upper cases. Okay so I hope this question is clear to you. So guys before moving ahead I would like to tell you one more thing what we have done we have made important interview IT subject notes in these particular notes total 12 subjects we are covering every subject for every subject there is a dedicated PDF of PDF for that subject in every PDF let's suppose Python only there are 20 to 25 important questions which are very commonly asked and are very important for the interview purpose. So if you are doing your last minute preparation or are you are revising your concepts then these notes will be very much beneficial for you okay so even if you consider this interview also so all these lambda functions list comprehension these are very commonly asked questions in python so all these questions are already present in the notes only 
and question related to machine learning i know many of you have your projects in machine learning so question related to machine learning are also present in these modes only for every subject i am telling you again 20 to 25 questions are there which are very important so if you do not know if you are doing last minute preparation then these notes will be very much beneficial for you i am not saying that all these questions all the questions will be asked from these notes only but majority of the topics you can cover from these notes only okay and these are hardly at a very nominal price of rupees 99 if you are interested in these notes the links are in the description box do check them out okay i will pin the pin pin the link for buying also okay so now let's continue and before continuing please hit that like button so next is explain slicing in python again a very commonly asked question in a python so what is slicing so slicing is again cutting of the array cutting of the array you can simply say so here you can see that a is the array don't get just confuse array or tuple or something i'm just using for a reference okay so let's just suppose a is a array here x is slice 0 8 and 3 but what does these position suggest so 0 is the starting index 8 is the ending index but 8 in ending index is not included and 3 is the number of jumps we are taking again i'm telling you 0 is the starting point 8 is the ending index but it is not included and 3 is the jumping steps so first first we will take a okay first element from zeroth element we will take then we will jump two steps or three steps and we will move towards d then we will again jump three steps and we will move towards g so g if you can see here is the seventh index so seventh index is less than 8 so therefore g will be considered okay so and what is the output that we are printing so this is the adg i have already told you So this is what a slicing is, cutting of the array as per your reference. Okay, I hope this question is clear to you. Next is explain indexing in DBMS. So why we do indexing? So simply to increase the performance of database, we do indexing. Currently, if we do not do indexing on a column and we do a search operation, then we are using the O of n uh, searching algorithm. If we do indexing, then the time is reduced to so without indexing, you can tell to the interviewer it will give a good overview of you without indexing big o of n is the search complexity time complexity after indexing big o of log n is the time complexity so time complexity after indexing significantly reduces therefore the time uh, therefore the application performance increases so log base to n log n okay so i hope this question is also clear to you then the last question of this interview was there was a puzzle question that was also asked that is 2 liters and 5 liter bowls are given find the 4 liter measure so using the 2 liter and 5 liter bowl how you will be forming the 4 liter so this this type of puzzle questions can be asked from you in any of the companies so i hope all these questions are clear to you make sure that you are hitting the like and subscribe button for this channel do join this telegram group because lot of discussions regarding mind tree are happening here and if you are interested in buying the notes and if you feel that they are useful for you then you can buy it the link will find in the pinned comment as well as in the description box okay these are at a very nominal price of rupees 99 rupees so thank you for watching this video